Today, I'm gonna show you the best push-up variation ever. But, can you guess which one it is? Take a guess. Hey there, I'm Coach Tyler from WeShape, where our goal is to help you feel amazing in your body again. And, if you guessed which push-up variation was the best one ever, well, then I'm gonna be honest with you. It was a little bit of a trick question. You see, the best push-up variation is the one that is appropriate for you. It's the one that challenges you enough to challenge those muscles, but doesn't put you in a position where your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, or your muscles are at risk for injury. So today, instead of showing you just one push-up variation, I'm gonna show you a detailed set of push-up variations starting from absolute beginner all the way to the standard push-up. Now, if you really wanna get the most out of this video, here's how you can approach it. Watch this video all the way through, trying to find the push-up variation that seems like it's the appropriate one for you. How do you know if it's appropriate for you? Well, you should be able to do at least 10 repetitions with perfect form, okay? Now, once you've picked your push-up variation, what you can do for a workout is you can do three rounds of one minute of the push-up variation you chose, okay? So this looks like 60 seconds of doing the push-up variation you chose, followed by a minute or so of rest, and then repeat that two more times. That means your entire push-up workout will only take you about five minutes to complete. So let's get started with the most beginner variation. From there, make sure you watch all the way through before you pick the variation that you feel is right for you. Let's dive in. Okay, this is the lying push-up. Now, this may seem like a total beginner variation, but for some people, they can't put pressure on their wrists, their elbows, or their shoulders. So, if that is you, don't be afraid to try the lying push-up. One thing you should be really mindful of is as you extend your arms all the way to squeeze the muscles of your chest and to extend the arms squeezing the back of the arms. This will help you fire the appropriate muscles so that you start to build the strength and mind-muscle connection to go to the next variation. Okay, this is called the seated thigh push-up. And this is a fantastic variation, especially for people with injuries in their lower body who can't stand up or can't put pressure through their knees and hips. To do this variation, make sure that you're pushing your body forward into your thighs to create resistance. The more you lean forward, the harder it will be. The more you lean backwards as you do this movement, the easier it will be. So make sure you give yourself whatever type of pressure feels good to you for the entire duration of this push-up variation. This is called the wall push-up, and it's a fantastic variation for people who can't do regular push-ups yet. The reason why is you get to practice perfect push-up form only with a lot less resistance. So start slowly and make sure you focus on good form. Keep your elbows down and to the side, keep your posture tall to the top of your head, and make sure your core and glutes stay really tight as you practice the wall push-up. If this feels too easy, you can go to the next variation. Yeah, yeah. This variation is called the high chair push-up. And this is a fantastic progression going from the wall push-up to the high chair. And the reason why is your body angles a little bit more. And the more your body's angled, the more you have to use the muscles of your body to do the push-up. So just like before, keep the elbows tucked in, keep the core and the glutes tight, and move slow and controlled until you feel like you've got control of this movement. If you do, you can go to the next variation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this variation is called the low chair push-up, and it's exactly like the high chair push-up, only you wanna have a surface that's about a foot and a half shorter than the high chair position. Now, some notes here. Oftentimes, people can feel some pain in their wrists, so if you need to, you can turn your fingers to the outside and come to the edge of the chair. That can help support the wrist. And remember, the entire time, keep the core tight, don't let the back sag, keep the glutes tight, don't let the butt sag, and keep the elbows tucked in. That's gonna keep you safe as you practice this variation. Now, if this one's too easy, you can still move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this push-up variation is called the kneeling push-up. Now, for some people, this one feels a little easier than the last variation. For some people, it feels a little bit more difficult. So you can pick between the last one or this one and choose which one feels harder for you, okay? What you're gonna do in this position is make sure that you keep your glutes tight and your core tight. It's easy once you bend your knees to want to forget to keep your pelvis in a good position. We want to keep that straight line through the knees, through the hips, all the way through the shoulders to make sure that your back is safe and that you're working your core as you do the push-up. Also, keep those elbows tucked in the entire time. That's gonna spare your shoulders. And also, don't go on to the next push-up variation unless you're able to do a full range of motion, bringing your chest all the way to the ground. 
If you are, and you're able to do this with perfect form, then you can go to the next variation. This push-up is called the half kneeling push-up, and it's the most important step to master before going to regular traditional push-ups that you probably know. Now, with the half kneeling push-up, you're gonna start in a full push-up position with all of your muscles fired. So you're gonna lock out your legs, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, and you're gonna have a nice strong plank position. From there, you're gonna slowly come down to the ground, trying to bring your elbows down into the sides to protect your shoulders and bring your chest all the way to the ground. Once the chest is to the ground, you drop your knees, keep the core and glutes tight, and press up from that position using the strength of your upper body. So you're going all the way down on a regular push-up, then you're dropping your knees and coming up in a kneeling push-up variation. Again, remember, go down slowly and with control because that is where you're gonna build the strength to go on to the next push-up variation. Okay, this last variation is the regular push-up that we all know, okay? For this variation, you wanna make sure to keep your quads tight, keep your glutes tight, your core tight, keep the elbows tucked in, and really focus on trying to go through a full range of motion, touching your chest to the ground on every single repetition. Can't quite do that? Make sure you go back to a simpler variation and build up more strength and quality of movement before doing regular push-ups. All right, there you have it, eight different push-up variations. And the reality is, one of them is the most amazing push-up for you. So pick which variation you wanna do, and just like I said in the beginning, do it for 60 seconds, rest for around a minute, and then repeat that three times. This entire push-up workout is only gonna take you five minutes to complete. If you do this three days a week, you're gonna feel a significant difference on your upper body strength and your core strength, and it's gonna make your body feel amazing. Oh, by the way, if you like the way that we teach you through this progressive format, starting with simple things that anybody can do, even while lying in bed and working you up to the regular push-up, well, then you're gonna love the we shape workouts that we create for you. So if you want a full body weight workout where every single movement is selected just for you based on your goals and your current capabilities, click the link below, take our free quiz, and give WeShape a shot.